Hello everybody. Welcome to the sixth in the series of videos on current electricity. In this video, I'm going to provide some closing notes on resistors. So the first thing to keep in mind um, about resistors is that uh, you know it's a constant. So if you have a resistan resistance uh, with a resistor with a resistance R, uh, you know this remains constant, irrespective of whether if you pass I1 and the drop is V1, and in another case the same resistor may have uh, you know you may pass a current of I2 and the drop may be uh, V2 uh, doesn't matter uh, the V2 may adjust according to I2 right so V2 will be you know what you will see is this is equal to I2 into R as per the Ohm's law so irrespective of um, what current you pass the resistance remains same that's uh, very important to keep in mind the second thing is um, if you have a IV graph so this is the IV graph and if you have two lines uh, for two different resistors R1 and R2 uh, you can infer from this this would imply that R2 would be greater than R1 because the slope of 2 R2 or yeah the slope of R2 is greater than slope of R1 so in, uh, I'm sorry you, you know it's it's not right to say slope of R1 you say slope of uh, IV graph for R1 so similarly slope of IV graph IV graph for R2 so you have if you have a graph like this you know that you know which one is a greater resistance the third thing is we discussed in the previous video that for ohmic conductors as your resistivity increases as temperature increases but for non ohmic we didn't talk about it is that you need to remember that typically your resistivity would decrease as your temperature increase now for example in a semiconductor uh, or diodes um, you have f the number of free electrons increase as temperature increase so they they become better conductors or 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 the resistivity uh, decreases now the fourth thing to the fourth thing to keep in mind is um, or rather the fourth point we need to talk about is uh, what are the materials used for different use cases so materials used for different cases so first let's look at standard wires now standard wires when I say as the standard wires we use in lab uh, we typically use magnanin ma sorry manganin and constantan these are alloys and the reason why we use these is because uh, its resistivity is quite high so you can use it to make a large resistance and this has less effect of temperature so as temperature as temperature increases or decreases the resistivity remains a constant right so resistivity remains constant that's what we need in lab we we need to we need to uh, make our experimentation error less by making sure resistance don't change due to temperature now the second is a fuse wire now the way the fuse wire works is you know you may, you put a fuse wire in between uh, let's say before a bulb or uh, something like that if you want to protect this bulb this is a this is a fuse wire and if you pass uh, let's say 
greater than a particular amperage, in this case, let's say one ampere, this fuse will blow off. Uh, you can design your fuse like that, uh, such that beyond a certain current, the fuse will break. So usually for this reason, you use, uh, you use alloy of lead or tin. And the reason why you use that is because it has a low melting point. Um, so you want something with low melting point that will burn uh, when excess current is passed. Now the third use case is a filament you, you, in bulb. You usually use metal like tungsten and the reason being uh, it has a very high melting point. And finally, you know, let's say a heating coil. You use an alloy called nichrome. And the reason why you use is because its resistivity is quite high. And as temperature increases, its resistivity also increases. And that's what you want because with high resistivity, it can produce more uh, or resistance can produce more heat. So I hope um, you, you, um, you like this video. This video is more informative and more relevant for, uh, for your exam point of view from ICC exam point of view. Now these are key things to remember. Um, see you on the next video. Bye.